Hi, it's Nick Shell, the internet receding hairline guy, and we're walking out of that pine tree just to kind of mix things up in the videos because I know that me walking out of the same place every once in a while, I mean, on most videos, is just we want to mix things up, especially if I'm wearing the same shirt as the one I just did the video in, right? But I did want to talk briefly about this. I wanted to talk more about the fact that usually you don't see me this clean shaven. Usually, especially in this last month, I've had a beard, but even before that, I have, I've always shaved once a week and just let it grow out the rest of the week. So, so to see me this, rare, this uh, clean shaven, that's uh, not the norm. And I wanted to address that. I'm thinking back to when I was in college and my roommate, Jamie, he had, I feel like he was in a play. I think he was in something to do with theater. And he had to grow out a beard for some kind of like biblical era play. So he had this huge beard for months. And then I remember him shaving in the sink that was like right next to my desk chair. And the first thing he said is, man, I look fat. He's like, look at all of this. And I couldn't notice a difference. I mean, he looked the same as I remember him from before. But there's this concept of if you have a beard and then you shave it, then like you think, have I gained weight? Or is it just that I'm used to there being black hair right here for all this time? Probably a little bit of both is what I would think. Um, I, I, I weighed myself. I'm, I mean, I'm a couple pounds heavier than normal. I think a lot of it is in my mind, but you know, when you're five foot nine, four or five pounds can, can look like a lot more. So uh, maybe that's the case, but it's funny because like I'm realizing that either like, ah, this feels weird. Like this feels unnatural to be clean shaven because it's almost like if you're clean shaven, you show your weight more is, is I think, I think that's very fair to say. I mean, and what I'm about to say, I hope it doesn't sound mean, but I doubt anyone watching this video is old enough for this to be a problem. But if you'll notice, I've noticed, uh, with middle-aged men, a lot of them will have this salt and pepper goatee right here. And clearly, they're trying to hide this, you know? So, yes, beards cover up double chins and thick necks and all that. But when I, when I look at myself and think, okay, yeah, I do look and feel, and I think the scale has agreed with me that I am a couple pounds heavier than before, um, you know, what, what does a guy like me do about it? You know, I just, I just work out more. That's what I do. Now, I want to, uh, I know that you're used to watching my videos for about hair because it ultimately always comes down uh, to that. That's the overall theme. You know, what does a receding hairline look like with all of this? And, and ultimately, this is a continuation of what does a receding hairline look like if you're clean shaven? Because that's actually not something I talk about very often. That combination is usually not how it look. Um, so that's what we're... That's kind of the theme of, of today, how that all works out. But I may have said this before in a video, but this could be new information. Here it is. I don't believe in working out in a gym. I mountain bike. I run. I'm always walking, obviously. That's when I'm shooting these videos. Uh, I'm just, I don't believe in paying a gym membership because I think society has a double standard in that if you don't have a six pack, then what's the point in working out? And that's not what I believe in. I don't have a six pack, nor do I care, because what good does that actually do you? It doesn't actually do you any good. What matters is that you're actually healthy and in shape. So, I mean, I'm already a vegan, and that's, isn't that funny to think about, that you can be a vegan and have weight to lose, have some extra pounds on you? Yeah, you can. When my wife was pregnant with our daughter that was born a month ago, we were eating more uh, fried food, more like tater tots, for example, and more sweets. And that's all it took for me to gain, you know, I don't know how many pounds, let's just say five, because I weighed myself again. I, I feel heavier than I actually am, but the number is showing that I'm like 160, and normally I'm closer to 155. So uh, I am tying this back into receding hairline because I, I think back of comments that I've received about how, from viewers, you guys, have said on more than one occasion that... Uh, the, the beard suits me well or the, the shadow suits me well. Uh, and I believe you. I, I'm with you all the way. Part of that is this. If I can get the camera angle right here. So, I actually, my chin, while my chin is pretty strong, it's got the little the butt here, you know, all that. However, let me hold this just right without blocking the lens. If you look at me from the side, and I'm going to try to talk this way. Hopefully that works right. 
my chin doesn't actually come out too far from my neck. <laughs> okay, does that make sense? So that's yet another reason why I think a beard or a shadow suits me well is because there's just not, it's not like, some people have that going on, but I don't. There's just not much distance right there. So it's not so much that I have a double chin as much as it is there's just not as much distance there. So I think that's another reason a beard helps separate my chin from my neck and, and it looks better on me. Um, so I know clean shaven is supposed to be the professional look, but, um, and I don't mind it. I mean, it's, it's whatever, but I think if we were to, to physically try to figure out why I look better with that sh uh, shadow or a beard, that'd probably have something to do with it. I mean, in my opinion, it just takes a, a special neck chin combo to really pull off a face where a beard makes you look weird. I mean, I don't know. I, what I'm saying is, I, I just think that's the reason I look better with, with the beard. Uh, and I think another maybe combination would just be, I'm sorry, another reason would be just be the combination of my skin complexion. I don't know if you've really noticed this, but I absolutely, uh, have what they call, I guess, the uh, olive complexion going on. It's not obvious. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm tan or that I'm dark, but it's a certain complexion I have that is kind of got a yellowish green tint to it. And I don't know if this yellow shirt I'm happening to wear today is making it better or worse. But what that, uh, but maybe somehow that skin complexion with the, with the dark um, beard that I've got has something to do with it too. Um, so, I, I recognize that I'll look better with, with, with uh, facial hair. And let me close by saying this. Uh, those videos that I made over the weekend showing with the goatee and the mustache, obviously that was for, uh, for uh, joking purposes, right? I, I mean, I would have to think, that I, I would not need to give a disclaimer saying, hey, that was just for fun. I'm not purposely trying this out to see if I look good with a goatee or a mustache. Like, it, on me, it's just ridiculous. It's just theatrical. It doesn't make sense. It's not who I am. I'm, I'm a five o'clock shadow, all the way up to six day, grown out look. That's who I am. I'm not. Ultimately, I'm definitely not like facial hair guy. Um, it just doesn't really make sense on me. But my, the way my face looks, I just, it's just funny because like, I don't know. I mean, I could totally be wrong because I'm sure outsiders know better than I do. But I just feel that my face is. Not that it's long and narrow, but it's just kind of like, how could it, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Cause I don't think it's long and narrow, but at the same time, I feel relatively speaking, my eyes are kind of close together. Everything's more down the middle of my face is how I feel, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So somehow with facial hair, it like broadens that. And I think it looks weird unless it's all symmetrical there with the uh, beard. But when you just focus on one part, I don't think my face is good for that. Because I've mentioned before, I've got a, a crooked nose. My teeth don't match up with my nose because my nose is crooked. Um, and, and even like with the goatee, because I don't have the longest distance between my chin and my neck, the goatee just looks, it's just too, it looks like it's too much. So there's way too much information uh, about that. But I thought it was important to talk about. So we'll catch you back soon when I'm not wearing a yellow shirt. Nick Shell, the internet receding hairline guy.